Yes, uh, this is my take uh, on uh, the Bull FC versus uh, Vipers game. Yeah, that game uh, was interesting. Uh, uh, there were two tactics that were in that um, uh, uh, that were, were displayed on the on the field. One coach uh, was looking to counter. Viper, of course, had majority of the, the ball. And uh, I was discussing with a colleague of mine, and this is what interesting. This is what he said that perhaps the lights were too bright for Vipers on the day. By that he meant by that the whole occasion was too bright for the day. Vipers they underestimated Bull. He was that's what that's it. What that that was his take. They underestimated Bull. And uh, they were surprised, as uh, also the great Mike Tyson says, everyone has a plan until they're punched in the face. And that's what happened uh, in the 20th minute. Bull punched Vipers in the, fence, in, the, in, the, in the face, and they could not. From there on, they were just playing catch up with Bull. Bull had a very simple game plan. Uh, they were looking to counter. They were looking to counter. They, had, they could match Vipers in the midfield. They had to disorganize their midfield. In a way that they would separate the link up between the wall and the midfield, so their strikers were, were isolated, so there was no link up, but they could build from the back. You'd see the team build from the back, the Torah building from the back, Hilary Mukundane. You know everything looked, but when they reached the final third, they could not really break through, and that's the game plan that Coach Abe had. That's how the game was won. In the midfield, they could not do it. Actually, I was a bit surprised uh, with Katongo. I expected Katongo to really. Uh, dictate play in the midfield but the game when the midfield was when the, when the, when the Vipers midfield broke and could not really penetrate uh, to the final third they, they were just playing catch up Bull had a very interesting uh, game plan and as I mentioned it was just counter-attacking football yeah counter-attacking football and uh, defending numbers and that's how the game was won Vipers was a better team uh, played a better football at the end of the day but so it's, it's about scoring that goal and Bull score that goal, and the rest of the the, the rest of the game was about Vipers really playing catch up. Yeah, to me, uh, the standard player on Vipers side was Alan Kelo. Alan Kelo really sh- showed. Uh, he really tried to really break the uh, the barrier in the midfield to really reach the final third. Though he was tackled, he was I think they were d- double they were, they were double teaming him, double team, teaming him and. Uh, uh, they, they tried to bring in you know center more, but already the game plan was really was really crammed already. Bull already knew the game plan, and it was it would, it would take really a, stri- a, a strike of genius from uh, a, an incredible player to come and really do something that uh, that uh, that is so exceptional. Yeah, so that was it. Also, they had the good chances, but not really clear cut chances. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, Bull converted their chances. Uh, which was an interesting gameplay. As I said, it was counter-attacking football. The ball came from uh, Alex Stata. Uh, it made uh, Jerome Chiria top team. And that was it. Game one, ball is on top of the table. So now, Viper has asked to play catch-up. The, the league is wide open. This league, this season, is not really be interesting. The next game, Viper is playing uh, Maroons. Uh, Villa is playing uh, Gaddafi. Yeah, but... Uh, that's how the title is. It's the top four, the top five. Even the cases is now creeping in with their win today. They are really creeping in. So that's my take on uh, the first game between uh, uh, Bull, Bull FC, and Vipers. Please make sure you watch my other take on the 7 p.m. game between uh, KCCA and SC Villa.